So when I want to make a non-looping piece of music loop, I drag it into Audacity and I just duplicate it using Ctrl D or you can go to Edit and Duplicate and then I hit Shift Ctrl F to make the tracks match the view or you can go to View Track Size Fit to Height then I deselect both tracks by clicking somewhere and then I can just drag this track to the end. A more precise version would be to count beats per minute but even though it's mostly the case you don't have a guarantee that these are consistent and this is my quick workflow so I will immediately compare the beginning and the end of the track. I use control and mouse wheel to zoom in and out and spacebar to play back. Actually let's listen to the separate parts. All right, so around here is a bang. Let's zoom in a little more. Yeah, here is good. So I'm gonna set a marker here, or rather, I don't like using markers, so I'm just gonna edit, clip, split, control I by default. And this thing has a bang as well. Yeah, here is good. So I'm gonna make that match this line by just dragging it here. That's pretty good. I guess uh, I will also add effect fade in just for good measure. Other tracks would really need it. Because we actually want to export this as an audio file, there are a few things to consider. For example, what if we just cut off this part and yeah, cut off this part. Oops. Control I here and now we can delete this. Yeah. Let's listen to this horrible mess. The beat works, but it's very noticeable. If we restore all this and we just try to play this track from here. So basically we cut it here and delete everything before it. Let's listen to how this sounds. Bit too much. This is how it sounded originally. So yeah, you have to make decisions whether you want to have one audio file at the end that you just loop continuously or whether you want to have one starting music file and then one looping and maybe even one ending. Let's assume you want all three. First let's select all and then go to tracks, mix, mix and render to new track. And then I'm gonna hit Control shift f or view track size fit to height again. We have now one track which we can solo, so we don't hear the other ones, that has this track and this track mixed together. And it loops. And the important thing is that we preserved the lines from before, so we can make one cut here, control I, one cut here. Ah, come on, come on. One cut. One cut here, control I. Let's just zoom in on this cut by selecting the area around it. Go to View, Zoom, Zoom to Selection, Control E. Gonna make these tracks smaller and this one bigger. Ideally, this point where we cut between them would be a zero crossing, where both the left and right sample naturally is zero. Unfortunately, that is not the case, and it not being the case can lead to clipping depending on what system plays back the audio files. So you can try to use the draw tool to correct that. But that also can lead to clipping. Seems to have been okay this time. Okay, so this will be the intro file. And then this minus something we have to do at the end here will be the looping file. So first we're gonna export this file. Export important to pick export selected audio after double clicking this area. File export selected audio. 
This was Hero on Guard Orchestra by Nigfus20. This track is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 and can be used for anything as long as you adhere to the license. So I'm going to name this file Hero on Guard Orchestra Loop Start. Well, I'm too lazy to fill out anything in here, so let's just go OK. All right, and now we have to take care of the end of this track. So we're going to select this and carefully shift extend this to here. Control D to create a new track. Control Shift F to make it all wrap again. Make these smaller. They don't matter right now. Make these bigger. Come on, select this. Select it up to here with shift drag. Move this so that it matches the beginning of the original track. And then over here we see the point at which we have to do a Control I cut. Delete this, delete this, and actually, because there is a slight difference here, we adjusted the bottom one. We can just select a little bit here. Let's also control I cut this one, put it here, the same selection, and control V. I did control C, control V, so control C, control V, and now we can see both go to zero. All right, and now we just need to join this cut or splice. And we're done. We can delete the bottom mix. And this will be the looping part. So I'm going to select that, make sure that the other ones are still muted. Go to File, Export, Selected Audio. And this one will be called Loop, Loop. And now I'm going to go a few steps back, Control Z, Control Z, until I did not delete this right here. And here I will just use this part until the very end to have the end piece. So I can just delete this part. Yep, it starts at zero. And now go to File, Export, Export Selected Audio, and this will be Orchestra Loop End. Here are the files. Let's drag them in. All right, so we have the start file, then we have the loop, which I'm going to control X. Oh boy, selection is so weird in the new Audacity. Come on, come on, come on, okay, here. Uh, control V, control X, control V. Actually, we're going to control V it over here and loop the loop more than once. Come. Oh my goodness, here. And then this one we're going to drag over here. OK. And here we are. And now we can listen to the result. It starts smooth as it should. And then this transition goes like as we wanted. And then the next transition. As we wanted. And then the next one will be the same. Excellent. And then at the very end. It ends as intended. And this is how you can create an endlessly looping track by using this, for example. Or by combining a start, middle, middle and end piece. Uh, by the way, make sure you use WAV or use OGG Vorbis. I'll just convert it real quick. So OGG Vorbis over here, if you zoom in on the end, still looks fine. But if you use MP3, that will screw you over. Let's move it in here. Keep both so we can compare. Zoom in at the very end. Ah, see what it did there? it changed the file. And if we jump to the beginning, where did that come from? So MP3 files add beginnings and ends. Very creepy. Do not use MP3. Use Wave, Flack, OGG Vorbis. Don't use MP3. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope this helped and I will see you in the next video. Until then, ciao.